Welcome to our online. Now here we have another interesting example. We have y equals the cotangent square of the sine of x. All right, how do we do that? Well, notice that this is the angle of the cotangent function. So it's not a product. We don't use the product rule. We have to be careful. But we do need to use the exponential rule because we have the cotangent square. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take y prime, which is dy dx, and that equals. Now we have the cotangent square of an argument, the sine of x. So here we have an exponential. We put the exponential in the front. So we have two times the cotangent 2 minus 1 to the first power of the sine of x times the derivative, the d dx of the function, which is the cotangent of, of, um, cotangent of the sine of x. So sometimes it's almost, it's kind of hard to keep track of what we're doing, right? So here, think of it as we have the cotangent squared of the sine of x. There's another way to write that. We could have written it like this, the cotangent of the sine of x raised the whole thing raised to the second power. And now it's easy to see that we have two times the cotangent of the sine of x to the first power times the derivative of what's inside, which is the cotangent of the sine of x. See, that way it's maybe a little bit easier to see that. All right, so what does that become? This is equal to two times the cotangent of the sine of x times the derivative of the cotangent. Now the derivative of the cotangent is the negative cosecant square. So times the negative cosecant square of the sine of x. But now we also have to multiply that times the derivative of the argument, which is the d dx of the sine of x, which is the cosine of x. And, well, we could put it in the back, it doesn't matter. We put the negative in the front, so this becomes equal to minus 2 times the cotangent of the sine of x times the cosecant square of the sine of x times the ddx of the sine is the cosine of x. And that's then ultimately the derivative. True, it's not likely you'll encounter something like this, but it's good to go through these types of problems and examples so that we can learn the rules and be solid in the rules. So again, it's not a product. This is the argument of the cotangent. So we can write it like this. And then we take 2 times the cotangent sine of x to the first power times the derivative of what's inside, which is the cotang cotangent of the sine of x. The derivative of the cotangent is the minus cosecant square of the argument sine of x, but then times the derivative of the argument, the, the angle, which is sine of x, and that gives us the cosine of x, and that is how it's done.